Now, lots of kids go to summer camp, but one in Graham is helping some middle school students learn more about what it takes to be a first responder. And it's a great example of what's right with our schools. The scene of a car crash. First responders using heavy equipment to try and save a life. While a Carolina Air Care helicopter lands nearby to airlift a patient for treatment. All under the watchful eyes of middle school students in Alamance Burlington School's future first responders camp. It's really cool because I've never seen that before. And I think it's like cool to see everything that's going on and how it is like in a real world what it's like to be a paramedic and a police and a firefighter. I think it was cool seeing them like take off the door with the, the big claw thing. That was really cool because like you wouldn't expect it to be that powerful and just like pry off a metal door. I thought it was pretty cool because we got to get in the helicopter and we got to explore all the different public safety jobs. Graham High School teacher and current EMT Madison Pierce says that's the purpose of this camp, to get students excited about the different first responder careers and show them there are many different pathways to their futures. So somebody who might say, hey, you know, I want to be a police officer when I grow up, they kind of saw what happened out there and it kind of could change their mind. Like, mm, I really like to see what EMS did or I really want to be on a helicopter one day or, you know, it just kind of gives them that one um, that experience to say, hey, this is what I thought they did, but it was actually very different than what I thought. Exposing them in middle school helps them plan for their classes in high school. Pierce says they start with the basics in Public Safety 1. And they take Public Safety 2, which gives you your CERT certification, which is a community emergency response team. So search and rescue, um, think natural disaster. If a natural disaster hit Alamance County, these students, after they get their certification, they can actually go out and do search and rescue, um, debris, um, pick up if there's like a tornado or um, any type of first responder volunteer service. Um, so they'll get that and they'll also get their NECI basic 911 dispatch certification. So we have our dispatch center kind of set up here um, for show now. But what it is, is it gives them a kind of a one up. At this camp, there are lots of surprises, not just for the campers, but first responders too. We try to make it as realistic as possible. This is the fourth time we've held this camp. So the fourth time we've done the scenario and each time the scenarios had the same gist, but it's been a little bit different. Um, we do our safety briefing away from the actual scenario. So that way that it's, it's realistic um, for our first responders as well. They're not, they don't know what they're coming into. Uh, I mean, they know it's a car wreck, but they don't know the magnitude of it. So I like to kind of keep it a surprise for them too. That way the students see and feel the raw energy. It makes me more interested than I was before, definitely, because I just like know a little bit more and it's like, oh, I want more. All the action was definitely an eye opener for them. I want to learn about how to be a fighter fighter because I feel like that's what I might become when I get older. I think it's good that kids come to this camp where they can learn what they want and to, if they want to become a paramedic, they can learn from experience what they've accomplished here. They can learn about that all while having fun.